So these gestures, devotion, it's a bit of a issue for many people, understandably. Yeah. Uh, so what's this got to do with practice? <laughs> well, this is about chitta, heart. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Opening heart, giving heart, uh, heart that's touched by beauty, by generosity, by beauty of the human spirit, heart that's touched by yeah, those who look after us and guide us, mm. touched by examples of those who practice with courage and insight heart that's touched by teachings that go straight to the point personally available mm. directly accessible to be revealed authentically by oneself it's a tremendous um, yeah, giving giving the heart back to the true, the good, the beautiful rather than being in the command of the personality which obligation other people want, got to and one of the features, one of the challenges of devotional practice of course is I'm supposed to do this no, 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 that's not it no, you're not supposed to do anything that's the wrong tone, that's not beautiful <laughs> I shouldn't operate like that yeah. I'm supposed to believe it's no, no, you're not supposed to believe in anything that's not what it's about yeah. and uh, I think particularly if we come from a, a culture where, where this religion is kind of a obligatory and you've got to do it and go to it otherwise you're going to be damned and sinful and stuff like that you know you come to this thing oh here we go again <laughs> the same thing no no not the same thing I'm not saying you can't practice uh, Christianity from a devotional point of view I'm not saying you can't do that but for many people it's an obligatory point of view rather than devotional yeah, she's supposed to believe in these images. No, you're not believing them. It's just images. But you can be touched by the presence, the suggestion of truth, of virtue, of compassion. Yeah. So these images are there to just catalyze your internal imagery. Mm. Maybe we don't have a very strong imagery internally. These aren't pictures. These are gestures of meaning. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And why this is a dynamic practice? Because you have to, to really experience, you have to kind of do it when you're ready, to the degree to which you're ready. It's not obligatory. It's not supposed to. This is about blind conformity. But it's saying, well, okay, you know, certain things come into it. For a start, there's a subtle body effect. Which, well, yeah, drawing the body upright and opening the chest is pretty good. That's much nicer than being crunched up and huddled. Tense. Yeah. So it's that effect taking some long breaths and using sound the sound coming through the throat as, a, as an effect on the subtle body yeah. and when we talk it's, it's not the same thing because talking is mostly just happening through the head and throat but when the whole body resonates with the sound it's a different effect it's why we chant, we don't say it, we chant it because all the... <laughs> The fascia tissues 
wrapped around the, the muscles and the sinews, also getting that sort of little you know, frisson, the shimmering of resonances. Oh, there you go. That's kind of nice. Just making sound, opening the throat, making sound. And then pure sound, English language is, is a very twisted kind of sound, but when you use Pali, you use a very pure sound, like a, the round O oh, and ah and he. And it's kind of getting the straightness, the simplicity, and the fullness of the sound. Yeah, that's got a nice effect too. Yeah. So that the subtle body experience. Then we use visual images like gentle light. We generally have a subdued light with candles as a gentle light. Subtle fragrance. You know, think about gentleness and subtleness, flowers. Yeah. They're conjuring up the meaning of beauty. Right. Yeah, the meaning of beauty. Yeah. It's kind of clean and pure and bright and non-brutal, non-invasive, it's subtle. Letting the heart take this in. And discarding the meaning of obligation. Discarding the meaning of top-down thou shouts and belief because this is about bachatang authenticity knowing it in yourself yourself? well, okay, knowing it in your body knowing it in your heart experiencing it there resonance, brightness And then when we come into that, this level of meaning is is way beyond my personality life, which is about getting things done and sorting something out and deciding what I'm going to do today. Okay, that's what they do. (laughs) That's what they're supposed to do. (laughs) That's the kind of personality's job, is to do that. You go deeper than that. Yeah. My personality is not a devotional personality. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not designed for that. It's designed to be, you know, get things done, be friendly, whatever, you know. But it's not designed for this stuff. So you have to kind of like, okay, let's take it easy now. Put that to one side, just listen to sound, sights, consider deeply. Yeah. Something bigger than my personality. My personality, which I generally follow, has been unable to get me out of suffering. <laughs> In fact, it's created plenty of it. <laughs> My personality with its chatter and I want to do this, I don't want to do that, has not been able to get me out of suffering. So <laughs> I think I just put that to one side and just open the heart instead. Um, it's always timeless because when we come into the heart, there's no time, there's no place. Uh, just here, now, opening, resonating, whether we're good at it, whether we've got good voices, bad voices, doesn't matter, that's not what it's about, it's not a performance, and and what we're doing, we're making the act of giving, just gently offering, and that self is just beautiful, simple, humble, and everybody agrees upon it. The sense of giving is beautiful. Okay, what can you give? Just give, give the sound. Give the heart. What to? Give it to itself. 
give it to instead of giving it to the personality to squabble about give it to its resonance give it to its beauty give it to its spaciousness its openness give it to that so really when we're doing puja we're actually giving ourselves back to ourselves and out of the clutch of time constraints and personal issues this is why when you practice it you get it you train it and you get it oh yeah this is actually where you establish your meditation practice not in the personality realm you have to deal with that you know, you've got to come from behind that and say okay you know yeah 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 of course you don't want this you don't want that yeah, yeah you want this you want that yeah yeah we've heard all that but all right no, it's just <laughs> You know? <laughs> and uh, training in it this is called citta citta satipatthana mindfulness of citta which we'll talk about mm. but the movement of the of the devotional practice is towards intimacy from beyond more intimate than the personality which is a kind of a surface thing more intimate so it's, it's sensitive it's delicate it's bright movement towards that it's out of time a calico it's not about another thing to do it's a time bound notion it's not about I will get this if I do that that's a time bound movement it's just immediate the poise in the immediacy of the present opening listening sensitive Mm. this is the domain of citta and then when the sounds disappear and go into silence poised open, listening to the silence tuned to that taking that in and it's not a silence of nothing's happening it's a silence of the heart is resonant and not chattering yeah. so it's a very potent silence it's Silence of deep listening, poise, presence. As we establish your satipatthana, your mindfulness, and turning that in the present, when we're open, what is this body? It's not that memory I have most of us have a kind of basic subtle photograph of the body you know, that's me alright it's not that no, it's something exquisitely animated like a creature you know, it's pulses, vibrations and extending awareness into that brightening, opening, listening, breathing then we bring that online to support give stability, give presence give a backing to the citta which can be so easily rocked and shaken that we need a body to carry it in and this is the right body not the one you see with your eyes this is the right body to carry your heart in is this one the breathing body and the right one to contemplate the breathing body is not your thinking mind it's your citta these two fit together beautifully mm. 
So let's continue our practice in silence and we'll take some time for being together, standing, sitting, uh, as suits you, as you feel is most appropriate. Experiment with that. Yeah.